What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to review season one of Fallout. We watched it, my wife and I, in a two-day span of four episodes and four episodes. It worked out actually rather well, and man, oh man, do I like this show. Truly, I saw the positivity going in, so, you know, maybe I was like bracing myself for some good rather than, I guess, for some bad, but you know what? This show honestly delivered in pretty much every way. I don't think it's like a perfect show, um, but honestly, it's one of the best TV. Now, I don't watch a lot of TV, but it's one of the better TV shows I've ever seen. I think it does the game so well, like so respected, to be honest with you. There's so many moments where it just kind of reminds me, you know, well, well, okay, sometimes it's just obvious kind of callbacks to the game, but sometimes it's just kind of random things that'll happen. Uh, There's kind of one example that happens when the two characters of Lucy and Maximus are walking kind of on a train, you know, train track, and they're just going next to basically people that, that don't like them, let's just say. And it ends messy. And that scene plays out. And I looked at my wife and I said, that just feels like a random event that you would see in the wasteland, right, in Fallout. So I think they do it so well with just kind of these random points, uh, you know, throughout the show where it doesn't necessarily have to advance the plot. It could be something for the character or it could just kind of be showing off the world. And then there are moments, obviously, of of major character development or major storylines. And I think they do it all extremely well. So, you know, I, I mean, I kind of just went through a quick synopsis. I think it's a great show, but the characters, I do want to start with Lucy. Um, Man, she is good. I've never seen, so Ella Purnell, I don't think, like I don't watch Yellow Jacket, so I don't think I've ever seen her in anything. Um, She's fantastic. I mean, I really like the character that they built there. I love the character arc. She's this kind of naive, ambitious, you know, uh, individual that's obviously, you know, a vault dweller and gets out there and really has to transform. But I think, I mean, the acting I thought was so good. The character development I thought was so good and I'm very the the theme of this entire video will be give me season two because I think season one just did a great job the ending of season one was pretty darn powerful um really the whole episode I would say but definitely the last like 10-15 minutes so where they're going for season two I think can be really really cool you have characters like Maximus now Maximus actually took some time to grow on me um I was not a big fan of if it was the acting or just kind of the I guess like straightforward kind of like depressing he kind of looks like this a lot when he's in the suit right at least earlier on I think as he evolves as he gets to start to interact with other characters I think he becomes a better and better character and by the end I very very much liked him uh Cooper Howard also the ghoul right really liked him I saw the clip online um I think it was like an early almost preview of the show and it was Lucy and then him and I didn't really get, like, a sense of who he was. Oh, you could tell he was, like, bad, right? But as the show plays out, it's like, okay, this guy's got a little bit more to him, right? He's a little bit more of a complicated character. And I loved, I actually kind of really liked the flashback scenes of, you know, what was going on before the bombs dropped. I think they did some really great storytelling. And there's still more to go with that. So those are, you know, the three primary protagonists. I really like how they did it. I think they each got enough screen time to really develop their characters. And they're each going through through different things, right? Like Lucy is a vault dweller and you know goes up to the surface, Maximus with a Brotherhood of Steel, and then and then a ghoul, right? And it's but it's he's got a complicated background and he's been around forever and all this jazz. Really liked it. And I really liked their interaction with each other. Um if it was Lucy and the ghoul, you know, things like that, or Lucy and Maximus, I think they all worked really well. But you know what? The individuals in Vault 33, that storyline of Rico from Hannah Montana, man, I haven't seen him in anything since Hannah Montana, but again, I don't really watch much stuff, but that guy can act, and I don't even want to call him kid because he's actually older than me. Um, He did a phenomenal job, and I just think... You know, I know I'm kind of like glossing over it. All the storylines they were telling were interesting. Like I was hooked and there felt like there were some really good twists and it also felt like it would build to something and then kind of deliver it. It never built to something to then let it let you down or I mean, like at the end, I think they did leave some characters um, in a more ambiguous spot where it's like, okay, well, you actually haven't shown me that character in like 25, 30 minutes. So like what's happened there? They did do that with a few of them, but I think the last time you see each of the characters, they're in interesting spots. There's interesting developments, and you know everybody just does a really good job acting and acting off of each other. But like I said, I mean, 
some of the main elements that I really liked about this show, well, okay, there was violence and some really, really good violence that I think showed off what Fallout is. There was some comedy and some great comedy. Like, I was chuckling all the time, laughing out loud, actually, even with my wife. Like, she was, she she really, really liked the show, by the way, in case people care what my wife thinks. Uh, she had a blast, too. So, it had violence, it had comedy, it had emotion. There was definitely some emotional moments to it. Like I mentioned with the flashback scenes, I mean, there was a lot going on there, right? There's a little bit of mystery or trying to figure things out you're trying to basically even figure out what side certain people are playing for but there is emotion too and there's some tenseness and the opening of the show was great I mean I really the more I say it out loud I think the show just did a phenomenal job at pretty much everything there were some great shots some great visuals they were not afraid to show off the freaking suits and halo for the love of God can you please take notice those suits were in the show a lot and they ditched it uh maybe in like episode five or six to just really bring it back you know shortly after it, it felt like a breath of fresh air. i told my wife i was like well why can they have the suit on screen so much but halo can't have chief suit uh, maybe like amazon versus whatever but i think they did a phenomenal job i'm honestly quite surprised at the same time i probably shouldn't be like the thing that makes Fallout Fallout is actually quite a few different things, right? And if you can tap into the violence, you can tap into these branching stories and just different characters coming from all walks of life, right? You get people that can act, you get people that can write, you can tell a really cool story, and it really doesn't have to have anything to do with anything we've seen in the games. Now, there's plenty of connection points, and there's vaults you know, mentioned that we've heard of, or we know what we're basically done with them. There is a build-up to what the vaults are and how they will use them. There is is a lot of lore, a lot of lore, and I think they did a really, really good job, but I, I really don't think you have to even, well, you might have to be into the games. I don't think you have to know every, I mean, I don't know everything about the games. I think you can uh, coast, you know, cruise along with this show with limited knowledge of the games, if maybe not at all. And I still think it's just a really cool post-apocalyptic show. Like, I, I think they just did a really good job. I think my parents could watch this without knowing, you know what I mean? I think it's that kind of show. So, Hats off to them. Um, we, we are in a, a good era. Um, I know not everybody liked Twisted Metal. I freaking loved it. Right now, it would be like Fallout and Twisted Metal almost tied because I really enjoyed Twisted Metal. But those two, I thought, were awesome adaptations and doing their own things. Last of Us was very solid. I didn't hate the Uncharted movie. I know a lot of people did or just people didn't see it, and that's totally cool. But I think we're going in a positive direction. You know, if you can nail like a Bioshock, uh, you know, Netflix is doing something there. You know, I, I think we could be okay. You just got to take lessons from these you know, the shows that work. I think Twisted Metal works. I think Fallout works. Just tap into that stuff. So cannot wait for season two. We'll, I'll do my best to cover season two as we get closer. And it definitely, by the way, final thing to say, maybe the best um, like positive and like thing you can give the show, it really made me want to play the games. Now, it didn't make me really want to play the games in the sense that I hated the show, but it's like, well, I like Fallout. Because I do like Fallout, right? But it's not like, oh, I hate this show. I got to, like, rinse my mouth out with, like, something good. So, like, let's go play the game. No, the show was so good that it made me think, huh, I'm actually itching to get back into the universe because the show put me there and it did such a good job. So now I want to go play the games again. That's what the show did. And I actually think that's very – like, that's what a show – a video game adaptation, that's what it should make you do. It should make you want to play the games again or play it for the first time or whatever. That's what it it should set out to do that, in my opinion, and this one does. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure, as always, you're subscribed to the channel. Bell icon turned on. And I hope to see you all on the next one.